Hiya! Vivian from Karmic Wellbeing in the Highlands of Scotland here. So I'm still doing my series of videos to help anyone um, trying to get pregnant, trying to conceive. So I myself, I'm 43 and pregnant and I now have five weeks to go. So this is my new Does My Bump Look Big in This Top. I'll just show you my little bump while I'm here. So, yes, my little angel. So, I understand, like, for myself and my partner, it wasn't the easiest thing to get pregnant. We were trying for quite a long time before we actually got pregnant, and you really need to get your body into the best possible situation for this. And your partner does have, you know, to make effort as well. So you both got to look at things like your diet and supplements and whatnots. And yeah, I've made various videos on things like that already. But today's video, I just decided to do five little trying to conceive hacks that worked for me. So along with the other videos um, that will be helpful if you want to go back and have a look, you're very welcome. And if anyone's interested, I can pop links into the comments if you're interested. Um, just let me know. But so yeah, today we'll do the five trying to conceive hacks that worked for me, 43 and pregnant. So number one, Hack this. I'm trying to pick out the things that are maybe like not the obvious things. So one of the things that I think helped me is looking at it from a different angle was the whole Oponopono ancient Hawaiian healing prayer. Now, this might sound a bit bizarre to some of you, um, and it's not something that I thought, oh, I really need an ancient Hawaiian healing prayer. I stumbled across it in different situations of my life, and it's not just for fertility. This, this can work in all different situations, but for fertility, I felt like this helped you forgive yourself and forgive others around you for situations um, or any past negative things, that, uh, negative emotions you're hanging on to. You want to have a clean slate. You, even if you don't know you're hanging on to something, you could subconsciously be holding on to something and you can't move forward when you are. And sometimes you don't even know what the thing is. So... I mean, this is free. You don't have to pay any money to do this ancient Hawaiian healing prayer. You can do this yourself. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, there's no harm in giving it a try. There's no harm in giving this ancient Hawaiian healing prayer a try. And it, it really is, you know, don't underestimate the power of it. It can, it can help you transform your life. And, and like I say, this one's not just for fertility, but for fertility, there could be negative situations you're hanging on to, maybe from the past about an ex-boyfriend, or maybe you haven't always treated your body the best way. You maybe drank too much. I don't know, partied too much. Anything, could be anything like that, that you just want to let go and stop beating yourself up about. And Because, you know, you're trying your best now and you've, you know, you've, you're getting your body in the best possible position now. So you need to be aware consciously as well and not hanging on to beating yourself up vibes or anything. You need to be in a good place. So the Hawaiian healing prayer is literally just four lines. Um, I've done an entire video on the Hawaiian healing prayer. So I will hold on to six. I'll give you the four lines. So literally the four lines are, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you and I thank you. So you can literally say these out loud to yourself, say them in your head. Um, there is a song kicking about, which I go over as well. I'm not going to sing to you today. You'll be pleased to know. <laughs> so yeah, literally, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. And I thank you. So you're apologising to yourself and to situations and to all the billions of cells in your body. You're forgiving yourself. Very important as well. You're loving yourself, I love you, which is one of the most important things ever. And I thank you, you're giving gratitude. So this healing prayer works for fertility, for any other situations, but for me, for fertility, I think, you know, I, I was beating myself up about stuff. I was like, oh, this past stuff. And you know, there's no point. You just want a clean slate, move forward and just, yeah, be in the right place. So anyway, you're bringing your focus to yourself, um, we've all made choices in our lives maybe not always the best choices in hindsight and you know you just you don't want to be beating yourself up and you want to clear that negative energy 
So give yourself acknowledgement and love you deserve and essentially you're opening your heart. So again, like I say, I've made a complete video on that. So I will maybe pop that in the comments below in the links if anyone's interested and you can go and try that print out for yourself. So hack number two. As you know, I'm a holistic practitioner. So Reiki sessions was my hack number two. And again, this might sound airy-fairy to some of you. However, you can't just get your physical side of your body and be on autopilot running about. You've got to get your emotional side and your soul, your mind, body and soul in alignment. So with Reiki, I do it myself. But when I was trying to conceive, I actually went to a practitioner as well because I thought I just want the full client experience. I want to lie there. But again, you can, even if you're not a Reiki practitioner, you can do like a healing on yourself. So you can literally, you know, just hand on heart, sorry, wrong side, hand on heart, hand on stomach. Even if you're you're not pregnant, you're trying to conceive, you just want to get into the habit of like holding that area and just sending loving vibes to yourself. So yeah, again, I mean, you want to get all your chakras in alignment basically without sounding too trippy hippie to some of you. But for you want your body to work as optimum and like again, never underestimate the power of the mind. So the mind, body and souls to be in alignment and, you know, go to a practitioner, get a Reiki session and just, you know, feel, just get the feel for it. Get all your chakras in alignment and just, just relax. It's really about relaxing and getting your mind, body and soul in place. So yeah, Reiki sessions was hack number two. So I'm going to change it, switch it up ever so slightly. Hack number three is castor oil packs. Now, these were used by the ancient Egyptians. So they're relaxing. This is a relaxing time. You can get your feet up. You can chill, listen to some music, listen to meditation. Or you could even listen to the Ho'oponopono prayer. Use that time to, you know, do the, the prayer to yourself or listen to the song styled one if you wish. Um, it's just a relaxing time. Now, while you're relaxing, you get your castor oil pack. Again, I've done another complete video on castor oil packs, so I could possibly pop that in the links if anyone's looking for it. Um, you want to, this one, you're going to let it detoxify your reproductive organs. You want to reduce inflammation and increase circulation to your reproductive system. So, I mean, it's got so many benefits and it's great for your liver. Detoxing livers is great. You don't want to do it when you're on your period. That's a no-no. Um, and when you're trying to conceive, you don't really want to do it in the second part of your, your phase, you know, when there's possibly potentially a little envy there. So you just want to do it running up to your ovulation time and then just, you know, just let the, the th it work. So you only need to do this for about 20 minutes a night, 15, 20 minutes. Use the time to chill, like I say, and get your feet up. So, yeah, because that's one of the things that I'd never heard of before. And when I found out the benefits, I thought it's such an easy thing to do. The same as the other two things. They're all for, for your mind, body and soul in alignment. It's not all about the physical. Although this one can help with things like inflammation and can help the physical as well. So, and you're getting the, the relaxation time. So, and it's, you know, it's not expensive. You just get yourself some castor oil, make up a wee pack. The other video I've got will show you how, will tell you how to do that. Um, and yeah, so, you know, get on it, folks. Hack number four. So I touched on this at the beginning, I think. Um, it was good supplements to help fertility. Now, again, I used eight different supplements and that was including a Pregnacare vitamin for conception. So on top of that, I had another seven supplements that I'd researched and started using. Um, so for the Pregnacare ones, you don't want to use the ones for when you're actually pregnant. You want to use the ones for conception because they've got like different properties in them. I think the ones for conception have more selenium and things. Yeah, you can get that from Brazil nuts and natural foods and whatnot. But you want to... Um, use the right pregnant ones. You don't want to use the pregnant ones because once you get pregnant, you want to switch to them because it just they've just got slightly different properties. They've both got folic acid, this, that, the other, but I think selenium and there was something else as well. It was zinc, it might have been. There are different properties of that in the ones when you're trying to conceive. So as for all the other supplements, I mean, oh, off the top of my head, I can't remember them all off my head, but there was like... Um, 
goodness, CoQ10, DHEA was an important one. So I've made separate videos on them individually, but there's also, I've also got one large supplement video that goes through each and every supplement I used and why. So I'd 100% recommend watching that video. Um, just to, you know, do a little bit of research to give you things. You can do your own research on top of it, but I did do some research before I used these supplements. Um, like I say, DHEA and CoQ10, they are in the large video, but I've also done a separate video on them because they were really important to me and I think they warranted their own video. So anyway, I won't babble on about supplements t just now because obviously there's the other videos out there as well. So hack number five, which I know isn't a massively popular one as well um, in some circles. However, I use fasting for fertility. So I'd already come across fasting before I was trying to conceive. So I was already aware of some of the health benefits for this. I mean, weight loss was a good one. Improved your cognitive function, anti-aging benefits, helps prevent autoimmune conditions. It reduces inflammation, which is a massive one for fertility. Um, and that's just a few of the benefits. I mean, there's a whole list of benefits if you look into fasting. And I'm not just talking about not eating for three days. You can do like intermittent fasting. You can go down to the one meal a day or you can eat between the hours of, say, 10 and 6 and have the larger window fasting. Um, it's, and you don't have to do that every day. You can, you know, you can just get into the team. You do a couple of days a week. And, and it, I just found for me, because when you're trying to conceive, you don't want to be overweight. And I, I don't think I was overweight, but looking back compared to now, I think I'm in a better condition, even though I'm pregnant. Um, you want to be in, you know, the, the weight range when you're trying to conceive to, you know, not put the stress in your body and so that the right sex hormones and everything's working correctly as well. Um, so for intermittent fasting for pregnancy, when trying to, not in pregnancy, do not fast in pregnancy, ignore the last line, <laughs> but for intermittent fasting when you're trying to conceive, I mean, um, you've got to watch. Now you want to do it roughly on days 6 to 11. You don't have to do it every day, like I say, but roughly days 6 to 11 of your cycle to, um, you know, you get the best benefits for this just before ovulation again. Because again, just the same as the castor oil packs, you don't want to be doing it on the second half of your phase um, when there's potentially going to be a little envy there. You don't want to be fasting, you don't want to get into autophagy um, and you don't want, you know, your Pac-Man autophagy guy to come and clear out all your cells and, and you know, potentially your envy. You want, you want to be in the best possible position and nourishing yourself, eating nourishing foods, like you know, your broths and your lentil soups and, you know, just warm stuff and nourishing your belly, healthy foods. So, yeah, so days 6 to 11 or depending on your cycle just before your ovulation. Now, these can also, with along with the benefits of helping you lose a bit of weight, reducing inflammation, um, it just gets your sex hormones as well into that position where they're, you know, they're going to, be secreting more of your sex hormones and your liver is going to be at liver health as well. So yeah, fasting can be used for fertility. However, I will state that if you are generally a thin person and you're at that lower weight range in you know the chart, I maybe wouldn't advise fasting for fertility then. This is more for, for me, I felt it worked for me. I was maybe a slightly overweight, even though I didn't like to admit it. But looking back, I think I was. Um... And it worked for me. So you basically, you want to take these hints and tips and use what works for you. So I'll just do a quick recap. We had the Ho'oponopono Hawaiian prayer. Free, easy to do, give it a try. Never underestimate the power of forgiveness, love, and for your mind, body, soul, and getting yourself in alignment. Reiki sessions, again, you can go to a practitioner um, like myself or a, a, practi a local practitioner to you, wherever you are, um, get the full benefit, client benefit, lie down, get a proper rig session, just go into alignment. You don't even have to tell them it's for fertility and what you want. You just have to go and get aligned. Um, on top of that, you don't have to go to a practitioner and you don't have to be a Reiki person to give yourself some self-healing. So, you know, it's not all about going to places and spending out on treatments, even though that is nice. If, if it's not doable for you, and like on lockdown, loads of us can't go anywhere. I can't go anywhere. Um, you just want to give yourself some healing, you know, just place your hands on your heart, get nice music in the background, 
think positive vibes. I haven't done a video on self-healing for yourself yet, but I'm going to on this note because that I think that would be worth something that you can see rather than me just talking about it. <laughs> I can show you. So number three was the castor oil packs. So yeah, like I say, good for the, get that chill time, get your feet up and just, you know, let them work, let the castor oil work in your reproductive organs, reduce the inflammation and just, yeah, get the circulation to your reproductive system, which is what you really want. Number four was the good supplements for fertility. I'm not going to go into each one in this because I'm trying to keep the video short, but I've done an entire video on that, which I'll pop the link in the comments below so you can go and have a look for yourself. And the last one, which we don't need to babble about because we've just literally covered it, fasting for fertility. So yeah, take what works for you from this. Always do your own research on things as well. But I, this is, I'm 43, I'm pregnant. I didn't think we were going to get there. And we did. And we got, we got ourselves in the best possible position. And five weeks to go, I'm just going to show you my bump again because I'm so proud of it. Woo! And I know you can't read this because it's back to front, but it does my bump look big in this. I think it's nice and neat. Uh, it's looking good, but I've literally got five weeks to go over the moon and I've been really lucky, had a really good pregnancy. Um, like I've not been one of these people that's been sick every single day. Um, I have had a few nauseous feeling entire days. I mean, I'm going to get that, but I mean, I've been really lucky and, and I'm grateful for that. So on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. So please feel free to write anything in the comments below if there's anything you want to chit chat about, if you know if there's any other information you're looking for, or if there's another video you're wanting me to do around this that I that can I can maybe do and help, willing to do, give that a bash too. So on that note, and um, would anyone please subscribe to my channel? I think there's a link just below when you come out of this. Don't quote me because I don't have I don't know how to put one on my page yet. I'm not that good yet. I'm a new YouTuber, so. Please subscribe, join me on this journey and you know I do all sorts of videos so fertility is the main ones at the moment because obviously pregnant and my situation knowing how difficult it was to get here I just want to be helpful to other people out there. So all that remains to say guys, namaste, thank you for joining me and yeah hope to see you again. So love and light to all, bye!